With the Z Modeler brush selected, hover over a poly and press spacebar to open up the Z Modeler poly menu. Locate the mask action. With the mask action selected, you'll see a series of targets in which you can apply the mask action with. By default, the mask is set to a single poly. This will allow you to come through on areas of your mesh and simply click to get a precise mask corresponding to that poly. Another thing nice about the masking action is that it'll use these targets here. So if I come through and set the target to say flat island and now I click on any poly on this flat area of my mesh, the entire flat area will be masked. This also works well with items like poly loop. I can come through and set this line to determine which poly loop I want masked and then just simply click and the entire poly loop will be masked. This mask action also works well with the transpose lines. So if I mask this top out here and then switch to a transpose line, I can now deform my mesh and not have that masked area be affected.